Hello, my beautiful friends. It's Amanda here, and today we are finally seeing a video that I have been researching and compiling information for for a very long time. We are talking about all the different lip color formulas from ColourPop. They have so many different types of lip products, and I know it can be really overwhelming and sometimes confusing. So we're going to cover a bunch of different information about all of these formulas, the finish, the opacity, the wear time, the scent, the packaging, the applicator, the price, whether or not things are vegan. I'm going to cover all of that information so that you can truly get a sense for what is the difference between all of these different lip colors because how different can two glosses or two lipsticks really be? So we're going to dissect all of those little differences. That's what you're going to see in this video. It is very information heavy. I'm not swatching these things. I'm not reviewing them. I have tons of other videos on my channel with individual swatches, reviews, lip swatches, my favorites, things like that. All of this information is coming from my personal reviews, from the ColourPop website, from the packaging of the actual products. And I want to just say right up front, there are only three of the lip products that we're talking about today that are not vegan according to the ColourPop site. That's the Just a Tint, Fresh Kiss Glossy Lip Stain, and Fresh Kiss Lip Lacquer. Otherwise, at least according to the ColourPop site, everything else that we speak about today is a vegan formula, and of course, all of their products are cruelty-free. Now, a few things before we dive in. For now, this is a comprehensive list. They always release so many things. They discontinue things. They bring things back. They reformulate. So probably sooner than later, this video will become at least not entirely accurate. Just keep that in mind. If you're watching this later down the line, some things may eventually change. They always change. ColourPop really keeps it pushing as far as their releases go. I also want to point out that I'm not talking about lip balms, lip treatments, lip masks. This is just the lip color. I feel like the treatments are a little bit more self-explanatory. And like I mentioned, I have a lot of other swatches and reviews available on my channel. If you want to see live close-ups, lip swatches, hear about which colors are my favorites and what I recommend or why I like what I like, check out my other videos. I will link everything down in the description for you so you don't even have to go searching for them. All you got to do is scroll down and I will list all of those videos for you. Just a reminder that I have an affiliate code. It's just my first name, Amanda, and that will save you 10% on pretty much all of your ColourPop purchases. Now, I did film the screen recordings during a sale, so not all of the prices in the screen recordings here in this video are entirely accurate, but you know, we just got to work with what we got. So I'm in a transitional period. I just moved into a new house, so we're just working with what we got here but I am going to do the price per gram and all of that stuff based on the regular retail price and not the sale price. So let's dive in here. You'll notice that there are a few different, what I call families in the ColourPop lip color world. We have the lippies, so the lippy pencil and the lippy sticks. There are the ultras, and I believe that these will be phased out sooner rather than later. The ultra matte, ultra blotted, and ultra glossy lips are probably on their way out in my opinion. They don't have their own headings under the lips section anymore, and they just haven't been released in a while. They're not prominently featured. Now we have the so line, so, so juicy, so glassy. And we have three Fresh Kiss products. These are the newer kids on the block, the Fresh Kiss Glossy Lip Stain, Fresh Kiss Lip Cream, and Fresh Kiss Lip Lacquer. Of course, the Lux family, the Lux Lip Oil, Lux Gloss, Lux Velvet, and Lux Lipstick, which I think is also probably on its way out, or at least due for a reformulation, hopefully in my opinion, because I love it. And then we have the lip family, blotted lip, glowing lip, and just a tint lip tint. 
So it's kind of a reach on that one, but I did make it work, I think. As I go through and give you the details on these, I want to combine some lip products that are more similar because I think that'll help you understand the differences if we're comparing more similar types of lipsticks. But the lippy pencils are just in a world of their own. They only have one lip pencil formula. So the lippy pencils are $7 a piece. They have one gram of product and they are a satiny matte type of finish. They do need to be sharpened so they're not a twist up, but any old pencil sharpener will work for these. I don't really have too much more to say about these. I feel like these are pretty straightforward. So we're just going to move along to the more traditional bullet type lipsticks. So in this section, we're looking at the Lippy Sticks and the Lux lipstick. This is the more traditional twist up solid lipstick. These are the only two formulas just like this with multiple finishes that we're going to look at today. They do have other twist up type lip products, but they are a more specialized finish. We'll get to that later. First, we're going to take a look at the lippy sticks. These are $8 a piece and they have one gram of product. They have the same sort of twist up type of applicator that the Lux lipstick has, but these are in a long slim packaging and the bullet that dispenses is smaller and more of a precision type applicator. These have a vanilla scent. They come in a few different finishes. Right now it seems like they prominently have the matte, the matte X finish, which is just super matte, and the cream finish lippy sticks. They have in the past had some satin finish ones. There's probably still a few floating around. I just couldn't exactly find them in my collection. And they used to have a sheer finish tube, which I think they did discontinue. Next, we're going to talk about the Lux lipsticks. These are the original Lux lipsticks. This has the very traditional sort of what you think of when you think of a bullet lipstick type of packaging. And they've mostly been releasing new Lux lipstick shades in collaboration collections, but not so much just as a part of their permanent line. These are priced at $9 a piece and you do get 3.5 grams of product. So shorter and wider than the Lippy Sticks packaging. These also have a vanilla scent. They also have the twist up type of dispensing. And these come right now in two different finishes. I can only find cream finish and the blur finish. I do think they used to have some more, at least they had a matte finish. So this just sort of seems like maybe the Lux lipsticks are either going to get a revamp like the lippy sticks did, fingers crossed that that's what's happening, or they're getting discontinued. But I think these are the two that really bear comparing as far as a bullet type lipstick goes. And the main differences here are the packaging and you can get some different finishes from these, but as far as the scent, as far as the performance goes, I think that the product itself is probably pretty similar. The main difference is just the finishes and the packaging and also the price, but we'll get to the per gram price later. Now I want to move on to liquid lipsticks. We have three different liquid lipsticks. I am going to talk about these in order from the least matte to the most matte. That way it can help you organize in your brain. At least it helped me organize in my brain. We're looking at the Fresh Kiss Lip Cream, the Lux Velvet, and the Ultra Matte Lip. These are their more traditional matte liquid lipsticks. We're going to talk about the Fresh Kiss Lip Cream first since it is the least matte, the least transfer proof of the three liquid lipsticks we're speaking about right now. This one is priced at $8 and it has 6.75 grams. This has a small pointed applicator, the precision applicator, and it comes in the square packaging that is characteristic of the Fresh Kiss line. This is a 
creamy matte type of finish. It's definitely got a moussey feeling to it. It doesn't fully dry down for me as compared to the other two. It is, I would say, transfer resistant, but definitely not transfer proof, definitely not smudge proof. That's why it's the least matte, even though it does have a matte finish, technically, it has more of a satiny sheen on the lips when I wear it. At the midpoint of these liquid lipsticks, we have the Luxe Velvet Formula. This one is $9 a piece. You get 4.75 grams of product. This I would describe as a velvety matte, whereas the lip cream is a creamy matte and the ultra matte lip is a flat matte. This is more comfortable than the ultra matte lip in my opinion and it's more transfer resistant than the lip cream so it really truly is just the midpoint in between these two. This one has the long slim slanted applicator so instead of that little pointy more triangular shaped applicator that the Fresh Kiss family has. And this one has a more prominent sweet vanilla scent, whereas the Fresh Kiss ones are very lightly scented or not scented at all for me. I can't really detect any sort of fragrance in those, but this one has a sweet vanilla scent. Lastly, we'll talk about the Ultra Matte Lip. This is the OG liquid lipstick for ColourPop. This formula too, I believe, is on its way out. I think all the Ultras are probably either going to be revamped or replaced. These are priced at $8 a piece. You get 3.2 grams of product. They have the really small old school doe foot applicator. They're not scented and these are super matte. These are that flat matte, the kind that sort of suck your lips dry. These are the least comfortable of the three in my personal opinion, but this is the most transfer proof. If you are looking for something that's not going to budge, then this is the formula that you're looking for. So with the liquid lipsticks, we are seeing more of a variety in the formula versus the bullet lipsticks, but you know, there's also the scent, the doe foot, the price to keep it in mind. Overall, I would say there's more variety here and you can sort of place yourself on the scale what you're looking for with comfort versus smudge resistance. That's really the difference between these liquid lipstick formulas. So hopefully that made sense. Feel free to ask questions in the comments because like I said, this is a very information heavy video. Next, we're talking about a category I call glossy but not gloss. So both of these lip products are in the twist up format. They don't have the swipe on liquid gloss type of application, but they both have a very glossy finish. So that's why I'm comparing them. We're going to start with the just a tint lip tints. These are $8 a piece. You get 2.1 grams of product. And just a reminder, this is one of the three non-vegan lip products for my vegan friends out there. This is a twist up type of crayon. It does not need to be sharpened, but just know that it's going to lose its pointiness pretty easily, pretty quickly. I haven't had any issues with these, but I just wanted to point that out for you. These do have a very fruity scent. I know that the scent is a little bit polarizing with these. I like it, but it is a strong fruity scent. These are a sheer coverage, not a lot of coverage coming from these, and they are a super glossy, hydrating, almost like a lip balm type of feeling. And when we move over to the glowing lip, which also has a glossy finish, also is in a twist up, but instead of the crayon, we have something that looks a little bit like a short lippy sticks type of packaging. These are priced at $8 a piece as well. 1.6 grams of product, so a little bit less than the Just a Tints. These have more coverage, so you can build these up to more like a medium coverage, and they are much more lightly scented. These have a very light, sweet scent to them. So the main differences here between the Glowing Lip and the Just a Tint are the amount of coverage, a sheer versus 
is buildable up to a medium, and the scent, which I know is a big factor for a lot of folks. Obviously, the packaging's a little bit different too, but in the end, you know, you're getting a twist up, glossy finish type of thing. So really the things to focus on are the amount of coverage and the fragrance. Next category is blotting and staining stuff. We're arranging these from the least matte finish to the most matte finish, just like I did with the liquid lipsticks. And we're gonna start off with the Fresh Kiss Glossy Lip Stain. These are $8 for six grams of product. Again, these are not a vegan formula. And this is one of the more unique formulas from ColourPop in my opinion. It's buildable, it's glossy at first, but then it just stains the lips and it feels like nothing at all, just a little tint of color left behind. So short term, this is glossy. Long term, it's a stain. I don't detect any fragrance with mine and these do have that small little pointy triangular precision doe foot applicator. Next we're going to talk about a re-released revamped formula. This is the blotted lip. $8 for 1.6 grams of product. This is a sheer matte on initial application but it's buildable up to a more medium coverage and the this one is super lightweight. It really doesn't dry out my lips. And I think, again, this is just the perfect midpoint between the matteness of these staining and blotting type of products. And this comes in that same twist up packaging similar to the glowing lip. So pay attention to your labels because these can get confusing. Lastly, we have the ultra blotted lips. I'm surprised to see so many of these still available as far as the ultras go since the ultra satin lips are completely gone from their website now. I'm surprised that there are this many ultra blotteds left. These are $8 a piece, three grams of product, same type of packaging that we saw in the ultra matte, that really old school liquid lip cylindrical packaging with the little small doe foot. These have a matte finish. They have a medium coverage. In my experience, these tend to be quite a bit more straight Freaky than the regular blotted lip formula. So for these blotting and staining type of diffused lip look products, it really is a variety as far as finish, application. It seems like the wear time for all of these is probably pretty similar. It just depends on what type of overall look you want and how you prefer to apply these. Next, we're getting into the most complex section of my video, and that is the glossy glosses. There are six different formulas that are in a glossy finish liquid application type of product, and there's a lot to dissect with these because truly, how different can lip glosses be? Well, I researched for many days to find out, and I'm gonna tell you the differences between these because they do exist. It's just how how important are these differences? How negligible are they? Is really up for you to decide, but I am going to give you so much more info than you ever even possibly needed or wanted about ColourPop lip gloss. So let's start with their lip oils. I debated even including the lip oils because as far as I'm concerned, these are not really lip colors. I don't know how they got the model pictures to have as much pigmentation as they do because these all look so so similar on my lips unless it's one of the really truly hot pink ones that they have. These all just show up clear on me but I guess Lux lip oils are included anyway. They're $9 a piece. They have 4.6 grams of product. They have a flat paddle applicator and the main thing about these for me, it's not the sheerness, it's the scent. These have a really strong scent. They smell like licorice to me. According to the ColourPop site, they are chamomile and calendula oil, but I, I don't like it and I'm not very sensitive to scents. So that's the main tipping point for me as far as the Lux lip oil goes. Otherwise, they're not very notable for me personally, but that's just something that you have to make the call on yourself. Next, we're going to talk about the ultra glossy lips. These are a very standard lip gloss, in my opinion. They are $8 a 
dollars a piece you get three grams of product they have a sweet vanilla scent they come in that slim component that the other ultras are in these have a brush tip applicator which i truly do not like at all i wish they just had the regular little baby doe foot but i guess i don't get to decide that so that's really the big thing about these the big difference is that brush tip applicator these are non-sticky just straight up regular non-sticky glosses next we have the Lux gloss these are priced at nine dollars a piece you get 4.6 grams of product these have a really sweet fruity scent so they are not vanilla like the ultra glossy and these have that big oversized cupped doe foot applicator kind of reminds me of a concealer applicator these are similar in performance to the ultra glossies but it has a more gel type of feeling but when it comes to coverage or opacity you're definitely going to get more color out of the ultra glossy and the luxe gloss than the lip oil but they are that very classic sheer glossy gloss they do have a variety of finishes so some are more creamy some have a little sparkle and there's a wide variety of those finishes so they do have a variety of opacities as well also want to point out that much like I did the least matte to the most matte with the other lipsticks for the glosses I'm doing least sticky to most sticky so the thinnest to the thickest so right at at that thickness stickiness midpoint would be the Lux gloss and the so glassy for me and then we're gonna move up stickiness thickness factor to the so juicy gloss and then finally the fresh kiss lip lacquer which is personally not my favorite but I said I wasn't going to share reviews. So let's talk about the So Glassy glosses. These are the newest glosses on the block. I feel like they haven't quite found their identity yet. They have the same square type of packaging that the Fresh Kiss products have. Same little small pointed applicator. These are $8 a piece. You get 5.7 grams of product. They have a very light sweet scent. I would say these are probably the least scented of all of the gloss options so if you are sensitive to fragrance that's something to keep in mind these come in a variety of finishes some are super super sparkly glittery metallic look and then some are straight up creamy glosses they kind of remind me of the maybelline lifter glosses just smaller packaging now we're gonna start seeing some really different formulas formulas that are set apart from these other more classic glosses the so juicy gloss is the perfect example of that you can just tell visually the packaging is so different with this squeezy tube type of packaging it doesn't really have an applicator so when you open the lid it just has the squeeze out onto the little slanted plastic applicator these are eight dollars a piece 9.5 grams of product really good value for your dollar by the way they are super minty they have that tingly plumping type of situation this is a really thick super high shine type of finish and they do tend to be pretty sticky in my opinion but not as sticky as the fresh kiss lip lacquers this is our final lip formula we're going to go over the fresh kiss lip lacquers are eight dollars a piece six grams of product same fresh kiss packaging that we've been over a bunch of times by now these are super pigmented they are very very glossy shiny that vinyl lip look they are not vegan these do not dry down at all these are in no way smudge proof or transfer proof however if you're looking for a very very pigmented full coverage glossy type of product then this is exactly what you're looking for okay so that was the whole rundown as far as the details on each one of these different lip products what makes them similar what makes them different hopefully this will wasn't so info dense that it stopped making sense. I really, really tried to structure this in a way that would make it actually useful for you. So hopefully that's the case and you have a better understanding of the similarities and differences between all these different lip colors. I do want to give you a couple of comprehensive breakdowns. First, the price per gram. This is based on the individual retail price and the info that is 
is available to me currently on the ColourPop site. I didn't go through and scrape out the product and weigh them individually myself. So this is the best that I have to go on, but this is gonna give you that value for your dollar ranking. Personally, I do use up lip products entirely. I know sometimes for powder products, the price per gram doesn't seem as relevant, but I use up my lip products and have to replace them pretty frequently. So if you're torn between two different formulas, perhaps this can be the tipping point for you. I also want to give you a breakdown on opacity. Just in my opinion, from my experience, you may experience a different type of coverage from these products. But for me personally, this is the ranking from the least coverage to the most coverage, with the least coverage being the Lux Lip Oil, ranked all the way up to the most coverage being the Ultra Matte Lip. Just note, this is not anything to do with staying power. This is just to do with the actual opacity on the initial application. Staying power, I think, is going to vary a lot more for everybody depending on your lips and your lifestyle and your activities more than opacity will. So that's why I wanted to rank it this way. Again, I hope this is helpful. There are quite a few lip products that are no longer available from them that they've had in the past. What comes to mind for me are the Ultra Satin Lips. I really loved those. That formula seems most similar to me to the Fresh Kiss Lip Cream or maybe the Lux Velvet Lips. They do discontinue, replace, revamp, reformulate their lip products pretty frequently and whenever something goes out, something new always is coming in. I'm going to put some chapter timestamps down in the description if you ever want to refer back to any of this information quickly and easily and I'm also going to link all of my videos where I go more in depth about my thoughts, feelings, reviews, lip swatches of each one of these different types of formulas. If you decide to pick anything up, remember you can use my code, Amanda, that is an affiliate code, just FYI, to save 10% on most of your ColourPop purchases. Now's the time when I want to hear what you think about the ColourPop lip formulas. Which ones are your favorites? Which shades are your favorites? Have they discontinued any of your favorites? Is there something that you want to see them release that they haven't created yet. I always love to hear what you think about things too, so please leave all your thoughts, comments, questions down in the comments below, and I will see you in my next video. And I love your face very much. Thank you for your patience while I get settled in my new space. You are the coolest, best, awesomest, sweetest, smartest, most amazing human being, and I'm so glad you're here, and I genuinely love your face. Okay, bye. Thank you.